Well, tornadoes can occur just about any time of year. So basically it just depends on what the ingredients are <clears throat> for a, a tornado to take place. But uh, John is here uh, around the clock, you know, Monday through Friday. He's here uh, working along with uh, uh, Johnny Wingate, which is another one of our assistants. And they monitor the radars on a daily basis. Uh, but, uh, you know, any time between, I guess, the peak season for uh, the National Weather Service is anywhere between, you know, March uh, all the way, we've seen it all the way up through October for tornado season. So we have to be prepared for, uh, we, we've already started preparing for this season uh, last month. We started talking about making sure all of our equipment here in the EOC and in the storm shelter is ready to go and, uh, you know, just making sure that, uh, we're ready for any severe weather outbreak and to shelter people. We are, uh, there's, there's not, there hasn't been a whole lot of changes as far as physical changes in the building, uh, but we have made some changes in the way we uh, will deal with individuals that do need to come here for shelter, uh, mainly uh, paper flow changes, paperwork changes in order to account for those individuals, in order to account for volunteers uh, that may come here and want to go out and help individuals that have been affected. Uh, we we're also installing a, uh, another radio in this room, uh, should be sometime next week, so we are able to monitor our police and fire department at the same time uh, while they're out on, in the field. All right. We also do, uh have plans for, as well as the, the uh, volunteers, we also have certain uh, plans for uh, donations, etc., which was a very big situation we had last year, right after the tornado. We just were inundated with uh, a lot of stuff that we couldn't use, and we didn't have a place to store it. Well, just like May 20th, uh, uh, basically if, if there's a threat uh, for any given day, we monitor the National Weather Service. Uh, if they say that there is a, a threat for a particular day, we begin early in the morning uh, uh, monitoring their forecast, monitoring what they're saying. Uh, John continues to monitor the radars down here. Uh, if we see that that threat is progressing, we have a, uh, a department head meeting with our department heads, call them all in and have a meeting, tell them this is what we're expecting. Uh, start preparing everybody along with fire, police, dispatch, street department, uh, water department. Uh, once that takes place, usually we will show up down here myself, John's here, uh, Johnny Wingate will be down here, city manager's notified, the mayor's notified by the city manager of what we're doing. And uh, we just continue to monitor uh, the radars and forecasts coming out of the weather service. And also we have some uh, we start preparing some messages to go out on our Blackboard Connect to the public uh, and kind of warn them uh, ahead of time uh, that, that this is possibly going to be a severe weather day, uh, including tornadoes, and just start preparing them early and to be ready for it and start pre making their, their preparations. And let the school know about it also. Potentially. We, potentially we would let the school know, as we did last May 20th, uh, we were in contact with Mr. O'Brien at the schools and advising him what we were receiving from the National Weather Service so he could make his decisions on how to handle his uh, pupils and his teachers in his schools.